Hi friends, thanks for joining me today. My name is Miss Irene. I work at the West Oak Lane branch of the Free Library of Philadelphia. We're doing a series of winter holiday programs. The second which is tonight and it's about Hanukkah. What is Hanukkah? How did it start? After we read our book, we'll be making a paper menorah. So let's get started. <laughs> reading the story of Hanukkah by David A. Adler, illustrated by Jill Weber. The story of Hanukkah. And there we see a menorah and some Hanukkah gelt and a dreidel and a present. The story of Hanukkah begins in Israel a long time ago when it was called Judea. At that time, the Jews who lived there were farmers and shepherds. There you are, farming and the shepherds. On holidays, they all went to the beautiful temple in Jerusalem. The temple was on top of a mountain and called the house of God. Its gates were covered with gold and silver. Inside was a ner tamid, a light that always burned. For a long time, the Jews lived in peace, although they did not rule their land. And then a Greek, Antiochus IV, became king. He tore down the walls of Jerusalem. Thousands were killed. Anyone who lit Sabbath candles, studied Jewish law, or refused to bow to Greek idols was put to death. The king's men came to the town of Modin. They demanded that Mattathias, an old priest, worship one of their gods. Mattathias refused. He threw down the idol and called out, Whoever is for the Lord our God, follow me. Mattathias ran to the hills. His five sons and many other Jews followed him. Antiochus' army chased after Mattathias. But when the soldiers came near, brave Jews hiding behind large rocks and inside caves attacked. Then they ran back to the hills and hid. Mattathias and his followers were farmers and shepherds, but they fought like trained soldiers. Judah was called the Maccabee, which means the hammer. The people who fought with him were called the Maccabees. The king's armies came with bows, arrows, swords, horses, and armored elephants, but they weren't able to beat the Maccabees. In the final battle, there were more than six armed soldiers to each Maccabee. But still, the mighty ar army of Antiochus was beaten. <laughs> Judah then led the Maccabees to Jerusalem. The Maccabees cried when they saw the temple ruined and filled with garbage. They cleaned it. They built a new altar, new gates, and new doors. When it came time to light the Ner Tamid, they found just one small jar of pure oil only enough to burn for one day. But that oil burned for eight days until more oil could be prepared. On the 25th day of the Hebrew month of Kishlev, the temple again became the house of God. Judah declared that every year on that date, an eight day holiday would begin. The holiday was called Hanukkah, which means dedication. It celebrates the day the temple was rededicated. That was more than 2,000 years ago. Today, all over the world, Jews celebrate Hanukkah by lighting candles, singing Hanukkah songs, and eating latkes, potato pancakes, and sufganiot, jelly donuts. Latkes and sufganiot are prepared in oil and remind Jews of the Hanukkah miracles. 
In many homes, people exchange Hanukkah gifts. Children also play a game with a four-sided spinning top called a dreidel. On each side of the dreidel is a different Hebrew letter. The first letters of the Hebrew sentence, Nes Gadol Hayah Sham, which means a great miracle happened there. It happened in Jerusalem. Hanukkah celebrates one of the first fights for religious freedom. And on this page, there is Joe Weber's recipe for latkes. So you can make your own latkes by using grated potatoes, eggs, flour, onion, and oil, and fry them in a pan. And this is how to play the dreidel game. So now I'll show you how to make a paper menorah. You're gonna need some paper, construction paper, or any kind of paper you have. This is construction paper, which you're going to fold in half like this, the hamburger way. Fold it in half the hamburger way. And then what I did was I put some marks on the paper as guidelines. This is going to be the top of your menorah, the middle candle. So you're going to be drawing you're going to be drawing from this side, which is the folded side, and holding your paper this way, like you would a book. So mark where the top of the menorah is going to be, and then make a line going across this way, where the other candles are going to be, the lower candles. So I'm gonna make a mark there, a mark there, a mark there, and a mark there. Then I'm going to draw half of the manure on my paper. Something like that. Then this will be the first candle. The first candle holder. I'll come down with two lines like that. This will be my candle holder. This will be the third one. So the menorah has eight candle holders, including, not including the one in the middle, which is called the shamas, which lights the other candles. take my scissors. I'm going to start cutting. Cutting around the lines that you drew. Careful not to cut anything off that I don't want cut off. Take your time with this. You might need an adult to help you. actually use any color construction paper that you like. I use white for my sample, but you can use any color. 
yellow, orange, red, whatever color you like, blue. After we cut this out, I'm gonna place it on another piece of paper and then I'll glue it down. And then we're gonna put some candles on it. I mean, some flames on it. Cut out some flames. And there we go. There's my Hanukkah menorah. I'm gonna turn it over to the other side so we can't see the part that I drew on. And then I can paste this onto my paper. And I already cut out some flames. So this is going to go on the middle. Let me move these pieces of paper out of the way. This will be the middle flame for my shamus candle, which lights all the other candles for the eight nights of Hanukkah. stick I'm gonna glue it down now, something else you can do if you'd like you can draw decorations on your menorah if you'd like and color it in you can also color in the flames a little bit with some markers like that put some red on the bottom there And there you go. That's how you make a paper menorah. And that way, see, I when I folded the paper in half, I was able to make it even on both sides. There you go, folks. Thanks for watching. And have a happy Hanukkah.